Hello and welcome to Customer Effects Training Webinars. My name is Dale Richter and today we're going to be talking about the SalesLogix Cloud, specifically customizations. We're going to be going into the application architect today and see how to customize the account detail form by adding a text box. But before we do that, I wanted to go through all the steps that we're going to need to cover. Why don't you hold on just a second and we'll look at those steps. Okay, so let's go ahead and review the list then of steps we need to create in order to have our new text field on our account details screen. So first of all, we need to go into the SalesLogix administrator, and in there, on number one, we'll create our new table. In the same place, then, we'll also create the new field in the new table, our customer number field. Then we need to go into the Project Explorer. So we'll open up our Application Architect, go into Project Explorer, Service Pack 3, Sales Logix, Application Entities, and right on there when we have that highlighted, we'll right click and choose New Entity. And we'll add our new entity, our new table, into the Application Architect. Then we need to go and double click on that new table in our list and check the box for extension. So we're going to make this an extension table off of the account table. So once you check the box for extension, and then we choose the account table. Then we go ahead and build our interface. This actually rebuilds your database schema so that we're able to uh, choose um, our new field, customer number, when we go into our data bindings on the text box. So we'll go ahead and build interfaces, number five there, and then watch the bottom of the screen to make sure that your uh, rebuild uh, completes. Then also in Project Explorer in the application entities, we'll go to Forms and choose Account Details. And then we want to make sure that our Properties window is number eight. Find the icon for Properties and open that Properties window. Then, number eight, we're going to right-click on the Details form and choose Add Row. That'll add another row to allow us to add fields below the existing fields. After that, we'll right-click on the new row and choose Insert Text Box. And we'll see all the controls that are actually available to us, but in this webinar, we'll just be using Text Box. Once we have our text box there and highlighted, we can change the caption property to put a caption on that text box. And then we'll look at number 11 at the data bindings property. This is where we're going to choose our new customer number field that we create in the account extension table. Then we'll go ahead and click on save the form with the save icon. After that, we want to make sure, number 13, that we build the platform. This compiles all the files and readies them for uh, deployment. Again, we'll watch the bottom of the screen to make sure that that actually uh, completes the build platform. And then number 15, we want to go ahead and deploy our website. We'll go to the Deployment Explorer, Explorer excuse me, and Core Deploy Portals, Core Portals, find the SLX client on the right side of the screen, we'll highlight it and just click on deploy. Again, watching the bottom of the screen to make sure the deployment succeeds. Now you can check your work by opening the portal right there on that screen. And then once we've checked it there on the server, we want to check it from another computer, similar to how the users will actually be accessing it. So those are the 19 different steps that we're going to take in order to add our field onto our account details view. So now our next step is going to be to go ahead and open up our administrator and get our new table and our new field added. Hold on just a second and I'll switch over to that administrator.
Okay, I've opened up my SalesLogix administrator, and this is where we're going to add our new table and our new field. So this is the LAN administrator, and I'm just going to go up to my Manage menu up on the top of the screen and choose Manage Database. Um, from my account table here, I want to create a new table. So I'm going to click on Create New Table, and I'm going to add the table Account under, Underscore Extension. Oops. Tab out of there puts into my display name. This will be a one-to-one -one table. I'm not going to sync this out to remotes, and I'm also not going to enable the field level security for this specific table. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK there. That creates my new table with my account ID and my set code ID, along with the create user and create date and modify user modify date. So my one new field I'm going to add in here to right now. I'm going to go up and click on create new field and I'm going to add a new field called customer number. Oops. And tab out of there puts in my display name and it's a string field 32 characters in length. So I'll go ahead and click on OK there and my new field is added into my database manager. So once I've added it into my database manager here in the SalesLogix administrator, I need to go to the application architect and add it as an entity into the web. So I'm going to flip over here to the application architect. Slide that down just a little bit there. Okay, so in the application architect then, I want to make sure that I go into my sales logics entity. So I've went into the Project Explorer here, uh, the virtual file system, and then into the entity model, packages, I'm going to go into my application entities here, right click and choose new entity. I'm going to create a new entity from an existing table. So we just created that table. And in here I'm going to choose my account extension and click on Next, Next again, wait for it to save, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. So I've added that as a new entity, and we can see that now down in our Project Explorer here. So I need to double click on that here, and that add that as an extension to the account table. So I'm going to click on this checkbox here, Is an Extension, and then in the drop down I want to make sure it's an extension of the account table and we see it up here in the extension entities. Okay? Okay, so when it puts that account extension as an extension then an extension entity onto the account we want to then go up and build our interface. we click on build our interface here this is actually going to rebuild our database schema so that that field is available for us when we add our text box onto our screen so we just watch the bottom of the screen here when our build is complete then we can go I'm going to go into my forms here underneath account find my account details double click on that and here's our account detail form I'm going to scroll over to the right there a little bit and first thing once my form is open um, I want to make sure that that properties window is open also so up on the top here you have an icon click on that and that properties window will open so just make sure you have that properties there I'm going to right click in the form and choose insert row that gives me a new row in there to add fields into. I'm going to scroll over to the right a little bit there underneath business description. I'm just going to click right there, right click and choose insert. And here you see all the different objects that we're able to add into this form. For this webinar we're just going to add a text box here so I'm just going to go down and choose text box. That added it onto my form. I want to make sure that that's highlighted the first thing I want to do is go up to the caption then and type in the caption for that field which is customer number. 
When I tab out of that, you see there it actually puts the customer number on the field. Then the other thing I want to do is go into the data bindings. This is where I'm actually going to bind that field back to the database to my new field. So as I go in there, you'll see that I have the account extension table. If I click the plus sign, I can then go and choose my customer number field that I created earlier and click on OK. So I have actually bound that customer number to a field in my database. That's really all I need to do to get that onto my account details view here. I want to make sure if I, I go up here and save my screen. Once that is saved, now we want to go in to the other icon up here where it's Build Web Platform. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Build Web Platform. When I build the web platform, what it's actually doing here is preparing the files for deployment. So it's doing the compilation of all the files so we can then go ahead and do a uh, deployment of our website. So I'm watching it down at the bottom of the screen here and waiting for that uh, build to complete. Once that has completed, then we're just going to go ahead and deploy our website and then check it out to make sure that our field actually shows up on our website as we hoped. Okay, so our build has completed here. So now I want to go to my Deployment Explorer and underneath deployments I'm gonna find my core portals and just double click on that when I find my core portals then over on the right hand side I wanna find SLX client and I'm gonna close this properties box now and scroll to the right here a little bit and on your screen you can open up this up wider so you'll be able to see all this at once but here for the SLX client then I have deploy so I'm gonna go ahead and click on deploy here and again, we just need to watch that down at the bottom of the screen as it goes ahead and deploys our website for us here. Here, I'll pull that screen down. It shows us deploying. Once that's completed, we can use this button in the lower right here to open our portal and check it out. Hopefully we've done everything right, and if we have, we should have our new customer number uh, sitting right on our account detail screen. And down in the bottom of the screen here, we can see where the deployment was completed successfully. So now I'm just going to click here and open that portal. As the splash screen comes up here, I'll go ahead and log in. As it opens here, I'm just going to go to Accounts, uh, down my navigation bar on the left-hand side of the screen. When my Accounts list opens up, I'll just click on the first account here, Abbott Limited. So we can go to the detail view and see if our new field is on the detail view. As Abbott Limited opens here, I'm going to scroll over to the right. And there we see our new field for customer number. I'm going to go in there and just type a random number. Field actually holds the number and then I would click on save to save that information into that field. So our customer number actually shows up on our account detail screen just as we wanted it to. This webinar has been about the SalesLogix Cloud, specifically customization. And in this webinar we added a new text box onto the account details view. I hope you learned something from this and please watch for further webinars well, we'll do some more customization. I want to thank you all for joining me this afternoon. Have a great day.